I went over already about in the previous episodes about get requests, post requests, and you could just run them each to see if you have the desired response. But as you can notice, if you run every single one, and let's just say you have 100 APIs, that could take a long time. What you can do is to make it easier, you, you want to set up the test for each to see the pass or fail. If you go to one of the requests that you created, go to the tests tab. And the test tab, this is usually written in JavaScript as described right here in the text. But they could give you some example snippets of how to run the test to see if it could pass or fail. Like for example, I want to see if the status code of this get request is going to be 200. So I click on this one. It already has it pre-written. Um, you can learn more about test scripts in the link provided by Postman or in the website. And once you do that, you should be able to, once you click send, it's going to say passed or failed. So you can even see the test results right here that, okay, it passed. Now let's just say that if I got it wrong, let's just say it's 2 and one it's going to show it as failed. It's pretty self-explanatory like that one. And with that, you can just include some other tests based on whatever body response that you're expecting to see. That's a quick, quick overview on this one. But there's a reason why I brought this one up because now you want to know, now you want to have you know, like a hundred of tests right here written with the test scripts given at the side right here at the right. Now you want to see that you could run all of these within like a certain amount of time, like let's say under five minutes, right? So let's just say I, I'm going to go take another one. Uh, this one might be, I think this was a 201 if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see, that's a 201 response. So in this case, if I were to go here, create tests, I would make this a status code of 201 response. I had to make sure I update the description right here. Status code is 201, it's 201. And maybe I'll get even more specific with the tests, like given uh, create post request, then the status code is 201. And then when I click send, it should pass, yes. Okay, sounds good. I'll, I have 100 tests. To run them all together, I go to this arrow right next to the collection folder, and I hit run. Now when I hit run, it's going to be able to display all the requests you create along with the tests that you made. You can select whatever environment you want. And when you click this run rec request API collection folder, it's going to go over which ones have passed or failed, what were the responses given, and it should show what has passed or failed right above right here. Uh, let me think about this for a second. I think now I know the reason why. Now, what is one reason why it didn't show one, two tests passed right here? It's because when I created this, I did not save the file. My goodness, guys, as a uh, coding 101, always save your files. I think right now it should have two tests passing right now. So let's see. Now it should show two. Yep, there you go. Two tests passed. So moral lesson, create your tests in the test tab and save <laughs> and then you could go ahead and use go to this arrow right here hit the run button and this run button will allow you to go ahead and run whatever tests you need i think you have the option to select and deselect what you don't want or what you do want um and you could like select how many iterations you want to run this api because who knows maybe your api has different behaviors like when it gets more complex you want to see if it runs in different iterations if you get the same response anyways guys Thank you for watching.